Hello guys, my name is Amaka and this is Lizama Stitches. You're welcome to today's tutorial. Thanks for being here. So in this tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you how to make a ruffled sleeve. So if you're here to subscribe to this channel, please click on the subscribe button and also turn on the notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever I upload new videos. So let's get started. These are the fabrics I'll be using for my sleeve. Now I'm going to use this for the basic sleeve and I'm going to use this for the for the raw food or the puffy part. So I'm going to show you how to draft your plants. So this fabric is folded into two. This fabric is folded into two. I want to make a plant. And I'm going to, now I want to cut, I'm cutting the main fabric and the lining together. So now one is one part is going to serve as the main fabric and the other part is going to serve as the lining. So now I want to find the midpoint of this fabric. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to fold the fabric into two, just like this. I'll fold it into two and I'll fold it again into four. Just like this. Now I'm going to mark this part. I'll mark this part. So I'll mark this part. Now, after marking this part, I'm going to notch this point. I'll notch this point. I'll notch this point and I'll notch this point. So I'll notch here. I'll not share and I'll not share. So I'll open the fabric. Now I'm going to open it this way. So now this is the mark. This is the, this is the, this is the midpoint of this fabric. And this is a notch. This is a notch. This is a notch and this is a notch. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to rule straight lines. I'm going to rule a straight line to this point. I'll rule a straight line to this point. I'll rule a straight line to this point and I'll rule a straight line from this point to this point. So let me do that. So I'm going to connect this point to this point, to this notch. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to connect this point to this point. You see where I notched? So I'm going to connect this point to this point. And I'll connect this point. I'll connect this point to this point. That is to this notch. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to draw a circle. I'm going to draw a small circle here. Drawing this two inches circle, I'm going to come. I'm going to connect. I just want to have four inches. So this is my four inches. 
Now my plant is going to be 4 inches. So I'll start marking 4 inches from here. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to pin it down, then I cut it. I'm going to pin it together so that it won't move. Then I'll cut it. So I'm going to cut it. Let me cut it from here. So the next thing I'm going to do now, this is my crinoline. My crinoline is one inch. My crinoline is one inch. So I'm going to take this to my sewing machine and I'm going to sew it. I'm going to start by sewing it. Now I'm going to sew it this way. I'm going to sew it with my crinoline. Now take note, my, you see that my satin is double. My satin is double. I pinned it down. That's why it's not shaking. It's not scattering. So I'm going to take this to my sewing machine. I'm going to place my pinhole in this way and I'm going to sew it. I'm going to sew on the tip. I'm going to sew it this way. I'm going to be sewing it. I'm going to sew it till I get to the end of this, of the satin. I sew it to the end of the satin. Now after sewing, after sewing it, I'm going to turn it. I'm going to turn it to the right side. Take note. I drafted, I drafted my plant on the wrong side of my satin. I drafted it on the wrong side of my satin. So when I place this on the wrong side, I'm also going to place my crinoline on the wrong side of my satin and I'm going to sew. After sewing, I'll now turn it to the right side. I'll turn it to the right side. So I'm going to do it and show you the outcome. So now I'm done sewing. Now this is what I did. You see how I did it. While sewing, try not to stretch. Don't stretch your crinoline. Don't stretch it. And while sewing, push your crinoline a little bit inside and sew. Now, this is my seam allowance and this is my crinoline. I have to sew on the tip of my crinoline. I have to sew on the tip of my crinoline. Are you seeing it? On the tip of my crinoline. So that when you turn it, when you turn it, it's going to be like this. It's not going to take in so much when you take it, when, when you turn it. So now, the next thing I'm going to do, okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is this. I'm still going to take this back to my sewing machine. I just want to show you how it is. And another thing I did, I notched. I've notched the seam allowance. I've notched the seam allowance. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to take this back to my sewing machine and I'm going to sew it. I'm going to sew it again. I'm going to sew it with half inch seam allowance here. Now this part, I'm going to sew it with half inch seam allowance. I'm going to sew it with half inch seam allowance. I'll sew it with half inch seam allowance. After sewing it with half inch seam allowance, after sewing here with half inch seam allowance, I'm going to iron it. I'm going to give it a thorough press. I'll iron it. Now after ironing it, let me show you how I'm going to attach it to the basic sleeve. So this is my basic sleeve. So now, now this is my basic sleeve. This is my elbow point. 
I've ruled it. I don't know if you're seeing this line. I notched it. So there's a line here. I've ruled it. So this is my elbow. So now I'm going to find the midpoint of this line. So the, this is the midpoint. And when you place it this point, this is the midpoint. So this is the midpoint of this part of this fabric. So this is the midpoint. Now I'm going now from this midpoint, I'm going to mark one inch circle. So now I have my circle, I have my one inch circle here. Now I'm going to create another one. Now, when you turn your, when you, after sewing your plant, after sewing in this part and ironing, now this is what you will do. You now place it on this circle. You follow this circle. As you're sewing, you're pleating. Now, this is what you'll be doing. As you're sewing, you're pleating. You just be pleating, you'll be sewing and the pleating. You follow the circle. That's what you do. You round, do it, do it, do it until you get the fullness that you want. Then you can answer. So this is the sleeve. Now after pleating it, now this is what I have. You see? Now I have my 1.5 inches seam allowance here. Now remember to leave your 1.5 inches seam allowance. You see, I left my 1.5 inches seam allowance. So while I was sewing, while I was pleating my plants, I did not allow it to get to get to this to this point to this seam allowance. Now I also have my seam allowance here. Now if you check here, you see that I still have my seam allowance, which I'm going to use to attach it to the. I'm going to use to attach it to the dress. So that's just it with this tutorial. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to take this to my sewing machine and I'm going to sew it this way. This is how I'm going to sew it. I'm going to bring this seam allowance and I'll bring this one. And I'll join it together. I'll join it together like this and I'll sew it. I'm going to sew it with, I have 1.5 inches seam allowance here. So I'll sew it down. I'll sew it down. So after sewing it, I'll sew it down. I'll sew it, then I'll hem this part. After that, I'll now turn it. I'll now turn it to the right side. So this is a sleeve. Now this is a sleeve. So this is what it looks like after sewing. You can actually make yours to be fuller than this if you want. I just made this for the sake of this tutorial, not because I want to attach it to any dress or or any top. I just made it for the sake of this tutorial. So just follow the steps and make one for yourself. If you found this tutorial helpful, please click on the like button. Share this video with your friends. Share this video in your sewing groups. Subscribe to my channel. Feel free to follow me on Instagram and Facebook at Nizama Stitches. We've come to the end of this tutorial. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.